everyone. Happy almost Friday. Today's pro tip is going to change everything. No more having students ask you um, where they're supposed to be or telling you that they're in the wrong place or that they're lost or that they've turned in the wrong assignment. No more of that confusion. I'm going to show you this little pro tip. So down here on my, this is my fake plate, my little fake sandbox where I just play around with stuff. So down here you can see that I have, this is just two examples of a week at a glance calendar. They're super plain, just blank, black and white. You can pretty these up, you can use graphics, put in pictures, do all sorts of stuff. But you could do a week at a glance, I'd put two examples in here if you want to separate um, cohort A and cohort B, or if you're just doing one single calendar here. But the idea is that you do a week at a glance and you list out what's happening each day. But the power comes in when you hyperlink these things to that part of the course. So I link to that module, I link to that assignment. I'm gonna show you the absolute basics of how to do this, and you can take it further um, and pretty it all up if you would like to. So you're gonna to wanna to put this on your homepage so that when a student opens your course, this is what is in their face, and they can just see it and go to today's content okay so first thing you're going to do is you're going to click over here where you see this little table icon so when you click on that it lets you pick what size of a table so of course we want to have five days of the week if you want to put a cohort a and b you might want to go ahead and select an extra column you're going to go down and it depends on what you would like to do if you'd like to put a title in there if you want to separate out multiple rows rows like cohort, cohort a and b or if you want to create actual rows i'm going to um, zoom back out for mine, I just created one single row and wrote all of my content here in that one single cell. You could break these down into individual rows. However you feel like you want to organize this would be how many rows and cells you want to have, how many rows and columns. So it's up to you. The good thing, the one thing I would suggest is that you write this on paper, figure out what works for you first and then do this because when you go in to add rows and columns, um, rows aren't a big deal. But if you try to add in columns after you've created this, it just kind of makes it go wonky and it's harder to fix the formatting of it. Um, it's a lot harder than if you just do it from the beginning. So try to figure out exactly what you want. So here's my example. This is what it looks like. And then you can come in here and do your days of the week give it all the information that you want to. You can type down in here. I'm going to zoom in for you. You can type in today's lesson and that we're having a quiz and we're having an assignment that they have an exit ticket or they might have homework. You type out, if I can spell homework, you type out whatever you want to be in here. These could have reminders in here. You could put notes. You can then, um, put notes in here and color it red. You have all of your formatting tools and icons um, along the top so everything is the same that you're used to. So I can come in here and I can, well right now it's deciding to, Canvas is making it disappear, but your toolbar will be up here along the top so you can make it bold, hot, you can do everything, make it pretty. Okay, that's just how you create a table and type into it. Now the beauty of this comes in to when we actually link things to places in our actual course, right? You're gonna to link to the modules. So to do that, the trick is, so this for example, I just made up some stuff for a fake week. So lesson chemical bonding. I'm gonna highlight this because I want this to be hyperlinked. And there's my toolbar, it's up here at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna, I want this to be hyperlinked. So I'm going to look for my little chain icon and what you're looking for is course links. So you're linking to places within the course, right? So I'm gonna pretend like I have this lesson already done and it's probably on a page or it might be an entire module. If it's a module, I can click this button and pick which module I want it to link to. I could also, if I know that it's on a certain page, I could click on whatever I wanna click on that has that page and link it here. So as a student, I can come in here and I can click on this. It's going to take me to my page where maybe it has the presentation or the video or whatever information that it may have. 
Um, this here, the labs and the exit tickets and the homeworks, same thing. I can highlight it. I'm going to click the little chain link icon and course links and notice that I can link to all these things in my course. What if, it's, what if this is an assignment? So I can click on assignments and pick out which assignment it is. Same thing with quizzes, discussion boards, anything like that. Okay, so the power of this comes in when you hyperlink things. You create a table, put your schedule for the week, and then hyperlink it. So I'm going to click save so that you can see what it looks like when it's hyperlinked. So it will look like this. So the students will click on it from their home page and it takes them directly to this page. Now this is where I was just dumping stuff to test out pictures and GIFs and whatever. So ignore my content, but the power of this to save you and your students some time is to create a week at a glance calendar and put it on your home page. Is that not amazing? So it's going to cut back on all those questions that you're getting from your kids. Now, if you have any questions at all regarding your canvas using tables like this, how to format it, if you have any issues with linking, always reach out to your homeschool ITF. Let me know if you have questions. Have a wonderful weekend.